We're very pleased with the uh, ministerial conference that's been held in Dakar. We had an extremely strong participation, uh, around about 50 ministers uh, and the president of Mauritius. Uh, what I think we see is that there's a widespread recognition amongst all of the participants of the importance and the key role of innovation in the creation of sustainable economies. Uh, and that is a very important recognition to have at this stage in Africa where growth rates are stabilizing and are rather favorable. Uh, now, of course, we have only several hundreds of participants here, so it's a question of spreading this recognition throughout the continent. It already is happening. Uh, but we think it's a, it's a very important result. Uh, there's also widespread recognition of the importance of intellectual property as the key element, I would say, uh, or one of the key elements in a successful innovation ecosystem. Uh, and that again is an achievement. Uh, now I think what we need to do is to focus on concrete programs, practical programs, that will add to this very large agenda because of course as a single organization uh, we are not the only ones involved there's the african union who are our partners in this conference there are a number of the sub-regional organization african organizations who are also present at the <coughs> at the conference and there is any number of private entrepreneurs who will be interested in establishing businesses and uh, investing in africa uh, as it grows. So uh, this now is, I think, the key question. What are the practical initiatives that we can take? We have a number of platforms as it is for <coughs> access to scientific data, for example, the establishment of technology and innovation support centres uh, in the field of uh, copyright and the creative industries, the uh, wiring of collective management uh, organizations to connect them into the global digital marketplace. Uh, so there are lots of concrete programs we see, as well as, of course, our uh, capacity building programs. Uh, but taking these forward uh, so that uh, we are able to pr provide a supporting role for this journey, which uh, I think is very optimistic. Uh, journey for Africa in the future is now the task. The common theme is, uh, as I've said, recognition and then also how to create a priority of this area. So for Africa, of course, there are many priorities and urgent and pressing priorities. Uh, uh, health, uh, education, infrastructure, uh, natural disasters, many, many priorities, uh, then taking something that's rather abstract like innovation and putting it into that list of priorities is rather a difficult task, of course. And that's why I think it's important to get this recognition that innovation is a major component uh, in economic growth, that it is a contributor to the improvement of our quality of life, and it's the way in which some of these major uh, social challenges that we face can be tackled by doing things in a different way, in a new way, and overcome. Once that recognition comes, then of course you can make a priority of innovation, uh, and by making it a priority and by creating sustainable uh, economies, uh, then of course you insulate yourself to some, to a greater extent, let's say, against some of the disaster and, and other challenges that exist.